Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again, playing Kerbal Space Program. Whoa, that was close. And we just landed my helicopter on the helipad. Uh, and I'm going to try to take off in just a second. Uh, cut the throttle. This is a jet-powered rotor wing helicopter and plane uh, using the new braking ground expansion and I'm gonna let the rotor spin down so like you just saw it can fly like a helicopter and we just landed on the top of the space center here I'm holding forward because I don't want to go forward at all come on there we go let's try to move here let's try to twist him this way hit the brakes don't tip over okay this should be fine uh, I'm gonna try to get a little more straightened out. Once these things slow down, hit the brakes. You can see that this guy has a rotor that, uh, it's not a rotor, it's a servo with uh, no braking and two Juno jet engines to power it. Um, the trick here, now that these have stopped, I also have a tail rotor with a torque limit at about 30, so I'm going to bring that to zero. We're going to transition into flight mode. So to do that, I have some servos here uh, hooked up to action groups. So if I hit two to change the target orientation and then one to play, I have this little transitional setup. See those transition. Uh, hit three to flip the servo into wing mode. So that is locked in now. Um, so in addition to the two Juno engines here, I've got two on the body to give this enough thrust to take off. And we will retract the rear landing gear uh, on all, all the while trying not to tip over. Um, spin up the engines, spin up the bottom engines, so we got all engines firing. I'm going to let these spin up to max thrust so I can get enough speed to take off from this short runway, and we'll try to land on the helipad over there. Here we go. So that works. So now we're flying horizontally. And yeah, the tricky thing about this is transitioning from flying like a plane to flying like a helicopter. And not really a helicopter. Uh, well, it's basically a helicopter, a jet powered, a rotor with a jet engine powering it. And I don't know what you call those things. If you know what you call that, let me know in the comments. But I was pretty psyched that I actually got this thing working. You can see it flies pretty well in plane mode. Oh god, don't crash if I remember how to fly. So the trick to transitioning to horizontal flight or to uh, helicopter based flight is leaving these bottom engines running. I'm going to pitch up at about a 30 degree angle and do the transition hit two then one let these things transition try to pull over cut those cut thrust and you can see it wasn't that smooth hit the torque limit on the rear rotor but we got it. And we're 500 meters up, so if I want to land on that helipad, we're going to have to <laughs> just take a boring drop, which we could do. Ah, oh, yeah, we're so high up. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to drop this down. The problem is if you drop the rotor too low, uh, or the speed too low on the engines, you'll actually lose control and you'll start to just flop around and then you're basically dead in the water. 
So, because we're so high, let's bail on the attempt to land down there, because that'll take forever. And I'm going to transition to uh, horizontal flight in airplane mode by first cutting thrust. Okay, so I cut thrust on the main rotors, cut my torque on the tail rotor, hit three. Oh boy. May have botched this. Oh god. Oh no. It didn't work. Okay. Alright, I'll I'll show you a takeoff and a landing. Okay. So we wanna do uh what do I wanna do? Take off from horizontal flight to vertical. So we'll do the same thing. There we go. And now we will quickly bank over transition that's pretty smooth that was pretty smooth that was one of the smoothest attempts I've ever done so that was a transition to helicopter mode in about a few hundred meters. I actually gained altitude and didn't lose that much on the way down. Whew, okay. Um, I'm going to pin this, if I can, not the elevon, the, I want the rotor. So if I can pin that rotor. Um, if you fly this thing, I'll leave the craft file in comments, but if you fly this thing you'll see that the rotor itself ha leaves you with some interesting gyroscopic effects, so it's tough to kind of wobble back and forth quite a bit. If you're going forward, you're going backward. Let's actually try to land on this now. Um, I would not bring it, if you see in the bottom right, I wouldn't bring it lower than this level of throttle. Otherwise you're going to have trouble. Um, you will lose control. This looks promising. I think we might actually be able to land. If I can keep pitching back. And I'm kind of using my shadow as a guide. Hit the gear. It has a tendency to pitch forward in this mode. Hit the brakes because we might actually land. Oh my gosh. Alright. Come on. Come on. So I'm closely watching the nav ball. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Back it up. Back it way up. We're gonna miss. I think we're gonna miss. I'm gonna switch. Pick it up. Spin it down. Try not to totally lose control. I think we got it. Yeah! <laughs> okay. That was sick. Alright. Wow! <laughs> it is hard to do that. Okay. Uh, cut the torque limit on the tail rotor. Switch this to... What do we want to do? I guess I'll take off vertically again because we don't have really any runway to work with here. Okay, so yeah, let's put the tail rotor back on. If you set the throttle to about 30% of max, you'll start to take off pretty gently. A 
little bit more. I'm also running out of fuel. That's the downside of this design. It's not all uh, battery powered. So you do have liquid fuel powering the Juno engines. But it flies pretty well. Like I have good uh, yaw and pitch control. If I want to spin around. So let's head off this way over the observatory, the tracking station. And once we get, let's say maybe give ourselves 500 meters for safety. You can see it wobbles quite a bit. Let's see what this looks like from inside. It's kind of cool. Okay. So now we want to transition to horizontal flight, and then let's try to land it. Um, about 450. So I screwed this up last time by not hitting the right action groups. All right, we should have plenty of room to work with here. I'm going to cut throttle. Wait for these guys. Wait for these guys. Slowly activate. Full thrust. Come on. Come on. Jesus! Ah! Oh, Alright. It didn't work, but I didn't crash. It can transition. It's just a difficult transition. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. That's the rotor wing. Fun with the breaking ground expansion. Uh, like the video and subscribe. I've got some more coming. Thanks.